Morning, everyone. Saturday morning, June 29th, and it's time for book giveaway number three. Before I get into that, I want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching my channel, and a special thanks to everyone that leaves comments. I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone's support. One of the things I'm also interested in is transportation safety. So I follow the work of transportation safety agencies in various countries. In the U.S., it's the National Transportation Safety Board. The United Kingdom has the Aircraft Accident Investigation Branch. And Australia has the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. And there are other ones that, I, that I'd look at. But recently, uh, the ATSB published its report on the in-flight uncontained engine failure of the Airbus A380. It was a Qantas VH Oscar Quebec Alpha that happened back in November of 2010. I just started reading this report. It's fascinating. It talks a lot about the engine certification requirements, how the crew responded to the emergency. Interestingly enough, when the plane landed, they couldn't shut one of the engines down because the controls had been disrupted. They tried everything. They finally had to drown the engine with a mixture of water and firefighting foam. Just a very interesting report. I'll hold it up and you can see it better. These reports are available on websites, which is very useful. So if you're interested in those kinds of things, you can always go to the website of these agencies and check out their reports. Now for the book giveaway, this time I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I've got three books. The winner of this book giveaway will get a choice of one of the three books. The remaining two will go to the next book giveaway, and I may add some to the next book giveaway. So, these are the books. First one is Not Much of an Engineer. It's the biography, autobiography of Sir Stanley Hooker. Sir Stanley Hooker was a very important engineer who worked for Rolls-Royce. He started with Rolls uh, about the time Rolls-Royce was transitioning from piston engines to gas turbine engines. Uh, he first worked on the Merlin and improving, I believe, the supercharger of that one, and then started working on jet engines. A fascinating individual. Uh, interestingly enough, after he retired, Rolls-Royce was continuing to develop its RB211 and ran into problems, I think, with the, with the fan stage. They called uh, Stanley Hooker out of retirement along with some of his retired colleagues who went back to work for Rolls-Royce and fixed that problem. I, I thought it was a fascinating story. Next one is Stick and Rudder. An Explanation of the Art of Flying. This is a classic. There are apparently over 250,000 copies of this book in print. Uh, it, was, it was written a while ago, but the, the principles and the explanations are still pertinent. I'm not a pilot. I'll never be a pilot. But reading that, I was able to understand the, uh, the way airplanes operate and the way airplanes are flown. So I find that useful. My copy I use as a reference. This is a new one. And the last one is... Images of Aviation, U.S. Airways. This is basically a pictorial history of U.S. Airways from its beginning up until the time it merged with America West. I don't think there's anything much in here about the American uh, U.S. Airways merger. Uh, it's very well illustrated. You can see uh, lots of interesting photographs. Unfortunately, they're all black and white. I was hoping there'd be some in color. But it was very, very interesting to look through this book. So if you're interested in this, please send me a message or add a comment to this video. I'll be happy to enter you. If you've entered before and want to enter again, that's fine. And the drawing will be next Saturday, which would be July 6th. And whoever wins, I will contact, and they can tell me uh, which book they'd like to have. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day.